Hello and welcome to the 2022 Heart of America Athletic Conference Outdoor Track and Field Media Day. I'm your host, Derek Johnson. I am the sports director and host of Rock Chalk Sports Talk on KLWN Radio in Lawrence. Next up for our Heart Outdoor Track and Field Media Day, Park University head coach, Brian Renshaw. I head into year 31, coach, with the Pirates. Uh, how excited are you and your staff and, and athletes to, to getting started here with the outdoor season? Oh, we're, we're excited. We're ready to go. Um, we'll see what we can do. It's a, a rebuilding year, but uh, the kids we got, we had a successful indoor uh, season. And so we're moving on and hopefully outdoor, we can keep it going. You mentioned the indoor portion, Bailey Turner, uh, two second place finishes at the Heart Indoor Championships, the women's long jump, the women's triple jump. Uh, tell us about Bailey and what impact she has made on your program throughout her career. Oh, Bailey came in. Uh, she was a three-time, I believe, state champion out of Missouri, uh, Kansas, uh, out of Olathe. And uh, she came in and, and gave us some credit right away. Uh, kept it going in the jumps. We just uh, had a young lady graduate that was uh, placed second in the nation. And Bailey moves in and uh, came in and is, has been uh, at the national level and uh, been competitive there for the last three years. So what are some team goals for you guys headed into this outdoor season on the outskirts of that indoor season? Well, our, our main thing is to stay focused and uh, to keep, uh, um, we're all looking for that perfect race, that perfect jump is what we're looking for. And I try to explain that to the kids to uh, keep them not caught up into the national thing. Uh, our young kids are get thinking about nationals and then they forget about what they got to do to get there. And uh, so we're just searching for those perfect races and, and events. Who are some athletes that we should be on the lookout for that could really spotlight uh, in the attention for you guys over the course of this 2022 season? On the men's side, we've got a freshman, uh, Malik. Calhoun, who was state champion in a triple jump for uh, in Kansas, another Kansas kid um, out of Wyandotte. And um, we're looking for him to uh, really kind of shine on the men's side. Uh, we've got another young distance runner, um, Andrew. Um, he's a, a sophomore this year. I think he can do some good things. And we've got uh, on the women's side, uh, Bailey Turner, obviously, but we also have uh, Jenna Hallbeck, who was 10th at Nationals in the 600. And we also have um, a freshman uh, hurdler, uh, Alicia McKenzie, this year, who also went to Nationals in the hurdles. You know, on staff, you have some of your former athletes, All-Americans. Um, how, how great is it to have some of those uh, – former athletes that you've coached be on staff and, and help out the program? Uh, it, it helps a lot. You know, it's just nice to have them around. Um, it's, it's probably, you know, uh, to be honest with you, I'm enjoying it. It kind of gave me a shot of uh, youth, you may say, because, um, you know, we can talk about what happened before and in between and their families. And uh, now it's more of a, uh, adult type stuff you, you do and talk, but uh, they're in the same uh, look at th what things they look at track the same way I do. So that's what's uh, easy. So you've been at Park again for 31 years now. Uh, tell us a little bit about the progression of, of what you've seen over your time there with the campus and the facilities and everything that you guys have to operate from the track side. Well, our uh, the school has grown. It's nothing like it once was. Uh, to be honest with you, it's grown like leaps and bounds. Uh, I was just talking to someone the other day, a former athlete. Um, I don't know if you knew, part of our campus is underground. Uh, that's it's probably 10 to 20 times bigger now than it was. Um, our uh, training staff went from uh, a part-time head trainer to three full-time trainers on duty. Um, sports have grown. When I first came, we had track and soccer and uh, basketball and volleyball. And now we added, since then, we've added uh, softball, baseball, uh, esports, and, and quite a bit's changed. 
And how much has the Kansas City community and, and the park student athletes and everything about park meant to you and your family over these years? Well, the, the thing about park is um, what I came for originally, I wasn't going to stick around very long, you know, it was one of those things. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Uh, it kind of started growing on me, um, and it, I, I like the diversity of it. Um, I like the students from all over. Um, Kansas City is just a, a nice city that you can get around easy. I've been to a lot of different cities, and our traffic jams are nothing compared to what most cities are, and um, I like the area. I, I really do. Any moments, favorite memories that, that stand out to you about your time dealing with athletes at Park? Um, we, we had some kids that, uh, you know, we've had several national champions that it was exciting. Uh, the kids that uh, um, you didn't think were going to make it ended up being all Americans and, and doing real well. Um, it, it's to be honest with you, in 31 years, uh, I probably can think of maybe four bad times and that's it. And I really mean that, or I wouldn't have been here. You don't see coaches sticking around a whole lot anymore. That's probably the sad part of it is, is a lot of my old friends retired and, um, is, but I get to make new friends. So that's exciting. Well, we've been asking all of the coaches this, and I'm sure it'll be uh, maybe a little bit different perspective for you with Park just joining the Heart a couple of years ago. But when somebody asks you about Heart track and field, what's the first thing that comes to mind? The first thing I, I really believe, and I had for a long time, that uh, it's one of the top conferences in the country um, in track. And um, uh, going back, because we competed heavy with everybody in the heart, um, I think of, you know, you got Baker, of course, and Grandview. Um, it's not a pushover. It, it's you got to come in and be ready to run. And that's every week. Um, that's, that's the biggest thing I can think of is uh, it's just a tough conference. Well, Coach Renshaw, best of luck this season. Thank you for joining us. All right. Thank you.